Hi there everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm here with another deck review. So this is a newer release. Um, this is the Energy and Spirit Oracle by Sandra Ann Taylor. This is a 44 card deck and guidebook. Um, so again, I, I believe it, this was just published last month, April 26th. I'm not sure when the release date was, but um, it's a newer, uh, it's a newer release. Um, and um, I just like it. Um, something um, drew me to it. So let's open it up. I haven't even opened the packaging yet. I just received this just a little while ago, not even an hour ago. So let's have a look. <clears throat> Please excuse any background noise. Um, the neighborhood is is busy. It's daytime, so usually I do my filming at night. But I'm not. I haven't been a night owl lately. So okay. So nice, nice sturdy box. Pretty box. Here's the back. If you'd like to pause and read through. And let's take a peek. Oh, there is something on the inside. Your life is vibrating with unlimited potential. Manifest miracles with spirit every day. That is pretty. Okay, nothing on this side. Oh boy, we've got a band here. Hopefully no damage. A lot of times they wrap them too tightly. Sorry, I knocked the tripod and they um, damage the sides of the cards, but I'm not seeing anything really. Um, okay. So they are matte. They are a matte finish, which is which is good um, in some ways. Um, I like matte finish is great for when you're filming. But it's not so great for shuffling. Sorry, I hit the tripod again. Okay, anyways, let's take a look at the guidebook. Nice, chunky guidebook. Get an upright meaning, a reverse meaning, and an affirmation. Very nice. I'm sure there's spreads in here or whatever. I don't do spreads, personally, but... Um, let me see. I'm going to turn my light on here since uh, they are matte finish. The, the glare ain't going to bother us. Um, I know some people are crazy over spread, so I'm just trying to see if they have any here. Yep, they've got some spreads in here. Okay, anywho, let's look at these gorgeous cards. So here's the backs. They are very pretty very pretty okay mindfulness so you're going to get a number a title and some keywords down here and a very beautiful card and i am going to end up keep hitting in that tripod and i do apologize um, the other way I was filming was not working for me. I'll figure it out. Well, these are pretty. This was one of the cards that sold me on this deck. How gorgeous is that? It's also the cover on the box and the guidebook. Mental clarity. Look at this. I will be using these for my Facebook page for my followers. I don't love, completely love, um, real people on cards, but with it being an oracle deck, it's it's not it's it's okay. I know I can't handle it on a tarot deck though. We have some art. Looks like we have an archangel in here. 
this is my first time seeing this deck. Usually I won't purchase without going through and finding a uh, walkthrough of a deck. But this one I just said, nah, grab it. So I'm not sure how many Archangels we have in there. Look at this. Wow. Nature Spirits, the four elements. There goes the tripod again. Confusion. Wow, many choices. Uncertainty. Reminds me of the Seven of Cups. Oh, pretty. Family tree. Yep, we got, looks like we're going to have several, maybe, Archangels in here. Archangel Haniel. Joy, Blessings, Intuition. Yeah, these are gorgeous. Very nice. Shamanic Healer. <clears throat> they don't seem to be sticking together. A whole lot, thank goodness. Usually matte finish does. That's why I don't totally love them when it comes to shuffling because I like jumpers. Wow, this is a really pretty card. Surrender, freedom from time constraints. Letting go of urgency. November up there on the calendar, isn't it? My eyes are horrible. My birthday month. Here we have another Archangel. Hope, Optimism, New Beginnings. And another one. These are pretty. Wow. Got some Two of Pentacles energy going on here. To me, anyways. We got a goddess in there. Goddess of Dreams. What does that say? Vision, intuition, receptivity. Wow, really pretty. See, here we have real people on the card. Something I'm not heavily fond of, but it's okay. Like I said, being an oracle. Some of these cards are just absolutely gorgeous. This one's really pretty, too. Very pretty. Hmm. She don't look too happy. She might think they're talking about her or something. Hmm. Interesting. Angels of the Chakras, Power, Truth, Connection. That is gorgeous. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. There's another Archangel. Justice, Harmony, Solutions. Reminds me of the Justice card in the Tarot. Creation. Personal we got two cards? No. Nope. <clears throat> Thought we had two cards stuck together. Personal guide, guardian angel, spirit family. Oh, it's cozy looking. Relaxation, peaceful pursuits, happy times. Ascended Masters. Devoted spirits with specific intentions. 
talented guys. Prosperity, abundant success. That is so pretty, wow. Very pretty. Your eternal spirit, higher self, sacred intuition. Gorgeous. And the last one, divine presence. The force of love and creation. Wow, that is pretty. So, that was my review. Let's see how we shuffle. That was shuffle very nice. Yeah, they do kind of clump though, so... And we get number one mindfulness. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. That was my review of the Energy Spirit, Energy and Spirit Oracle by Sandra Ann Taylor. Take care and blessed be.